And a very pleasant good afternoon, everybody, from the Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center. Video Productions proudly presents high school boys basketball tournament style. It's the Little General Store's Battle for the Armory. This is game number one of four today, and we will have all four games here on Video Productions and then four more tomorrow in this abbreviated tournament. Our first game features the Princeton Tigers against Charleston Catholic High School, the Irish against the Tigers. This is Bill O'Brien. I'll be bringing you the play-by-play, -play, and my sidekick is on his way here from the bowl game in Charlotte. Brian Helton is going to join me when we get on the air with our play-by-play, -play, so that'll be my partner later on. I've got a lot to tell you about these two teams, the Princeton Tigers. They're a 4A school, coached by Rob Williams in his sixth season. Princeton has won three and lost last night for the first time in overtime, so they're three and one. They'll be playing the Charleston Catholic Irish 6-0 and on this young season. They are number one preseason in AA. They made it to the championship game in AA last year. Coach Hunter Moles has all of his starters back from that team last year, and we expect a good one here. Between Princeton and Charleston Catholic, we'll have the opening lineups after we take our first commercial break on Video Productions. Dutch Miller's Beckley Auto Mall, West Virginia's largest GMC Buick dealer, is a proud sponsor of West Virginia High School Athletics and our area student athletes. Dutch Miller's Beckley Auto Mall, with two locations for your convenience, 3934 Robert C. Bird Drive in Beckley and 8762 Seneca Trail in Fairley. Plus, you can shop 24-7 at BeckleyAutomall.com. Dutch Miller's Beckley Auto Mall and West Virginia's student athletes, a winning combination. GMC, we are professional grade. At Access Health, we believe there's a difference between care and caring. We know you by name and our 26 locations keep you healthy so that you can do the things that truly matter. City National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com. Take care of this by the end of the day. Uh, sure, I'll take care of that. Done. It's that easy with compliance. Compliance. We've got your back office. The main goal of our firm is to provide the best client experience possible. I want my clients to believe that they've experienced fairness. Then finally I want them to know that they got a friend. I'm not in the business of running off business, but I'm in the business of being honest. At the end of the day and at the end of the case, I want the client to know that they didn't leave anything on the table to feel without doubt that they made the right decision to hire this firm. West Virginia Orthotic and Prosthetic Center provides orthotic and prosthetic devices, promoting the highest level of personal and professional patient care. West Virginia ONP has a state-of-the-art fabrication facility where devices are produced, customized, and fitted in-house by our fully certified staff. We are honored to have the opportunity to work with our veteran population, providing them with the highest level of care and support. We are conveniently located in Beckley, just off I-64 at the Brookshire Lane Medical Park. Please call for a free evaluation or contact us online. And we are back at the Little General Battle for the Armory. And we'll be uh, tipping this off in just a couple of minutes first. Let's give you the opening lineups. First, for the visitors from Charleston, the Irish of Charleston Catholic. Their point guard is number 10, Gio Cinco. He is a senior at 5'10", averages better than six points per game. Number 24 is Jay Allen Turner, a senior at 6'4", averaging 18.3. So he leads the team in scoring Turner who wears number 24. Number 30 is a guard, Max Wilcox, 6'1", and a junior, averaging 12.3 per game. 32 is a forward, Zayden Ransom. He's a sophomore at 6'3", averaging 8 points per game. 
And the other guard is Jeffrey Reynolds, wearing number 44 on his traveling green outfit. Reynolds is a senior at 5'11", averaging 5.5 points per game. As we told you, Catholic comes in 6-0. and oh. They have wins over Clarksburg, Notre Dame, over St. Albans, over Calvary Baptist, East Fairmont, Trinity Christian out of Morgantown, and they beat Hurricane. Now for the Princeton Tigers, they will be starting Gavin Stover, a senior at 5'10", averaging 15 points per game. Dom Collins is a 5'10", senior, averaging 11 per game. Cohen Sarton is a 6'3", senior, averaging 12 points per game. Zane Neely, a 6'2", senior, averaging 4 per game. And Markel Lowe is a 6'0", junior, averaging 5 points per game. Princeton will be the home team, Charleston Catholic. They're the visitors in the green outfits. We'll be back with the action coming up after a quick break on Video Productions. I'm Leanna Burnett, owner of Window World of Beckley. At Window World, we are proud to deliver exterior solutions that are beautiful, affordable, and guaranteed for life. We do things the right way. Honest pricing, no gimmicks, and thousands of satisfied customers. Call Window World of Beckley today at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW and have your new window siding and doors before winter. Window World of Beckley, family owned. Nationally known. We won't raise your rates just because of an accident. Sure, everyone thinks they're a good driver, but when an accident happens, with Allstate, you don't have to worry, even if it's your fault. It's called accident forgiveness, and it starts the day you sign up. You're in good hands with Allstate. Hey, my name's Paige, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is the crispiness of the breading and the tenderness of the filet. It's tasty, it's warm, it's total satisfaction. Hi, this is Tanya, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that warm bun, the perfectly seasoned chicken... I'm Leanna Burnett, owner of Window World of Beckley. At Window World, we are proud to deliver exterior solutions that are beautiful, affordable, and guaranteed for life. We do things the right way. Honest pricing, no gimmicks, and thousands of satisfied customers. Call Window World of Beckley today at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW and have your new window siding and doors before winter. Window World of Beckley, family owned. Nationally known. We won't raise your rates just because of an accident. Sure, everyone thinks they're a good driver. But when an accident happens, with Allstate, you don't have to worry, even if it's your fault. It's called accident forgiveness, and it starts the day you sign up. You're in good hands with Allstate. Hey, my name's Paige, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is the crispiness of the breading and the tenderness of the filet. It's tasty, it's warm, it's total satisfaction. 
Hi, this is Tanya, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that warm bun, the perfectly seasoned chicken, and that pickle. Woo! I love it. There's a taste of my childhood in every bite. Football season is starting and the all-star lineup of new Kias are here at Friendship Kia of Beckley. We have the playbook to help you score the big win on your new Kia purchase. We make sure you get the best price with almost all of our new cars priced at invoice. And don't forget, we have one of the largest selections of inventory to help find you that perfect ride. We have a roster full of non-commissioned sales staff and an Any Reason 7 Day Exchange program. So get off the bench and get a new Kia from your friends at Friendship Kia of Beckley. We're dealing! And we are ready to start basketball here. This is game one of four today on Video Productions. Charleston Catholic against Princeton. Princeton in the white uniforms. The ball is tipped out of bounds, and it will belong to whom? Tigers are in the white, and the Irish out of Charleston are in the green, as you would expect the Irish to be. Well, Bill, I'm glad to be joining you. I just got a last-second uh, assignment to sit right in. Not really prepared for this one, but I'm ready to dive on in. Well, that's the voice of Maris Lowry making a mystery performance here. He's going to be working two games later on today, and so waiting for Brian Helton to get here from Charlotte. So until then, Maris is going to be here. Turnaround shot missing, and here's the rebound by Zion Neely. So the Princeton Tigers, they won three out of four games. They lost last night in Summersville in overtime to Spring Valley, and they lost their top player in that loss as well. So uh, Nick Fleming is out for an undetermined amount of time. Let's see what the rest of the team can do. Uh, Sarton, who, who was uh, double team. He didn't, but he said it's not going to be long term. That's about all he was going to say. Rob Williams, who's in his sixth year as the head man of the Tigers. All right, working with it is Stover. He's the point guard for Princeton. He's got an open layup, and it's good. Irish, I'm told by their coach, they're still working on their offense. Their defense is great. All of their starters returned from last year's team that went to the title game in double A. Princeton swarming on defense. And from three on the way, and it's in and out and in again. Nice shot that time by 44, Jeffrey Reynolds. Yeah, Reynolds had a nice look, and you, know, you said build the ball halfway in, popped out, and then that uh, touch right back in for the trade. Stover passing the ball to Collins. That's Dom Collins with it. Off the back brace, Princeton keeps it. Speaking of football, Maris, that's what their coach said. He said, hey, a lot of my guys play football, so we're very physical, we're very aggressive, and he said my guys are just now getting into their basketball well, muscles. That is right. Of course, not only did Dom Collins win the Kennedy Award in football, he's also signed to play at West Virginia University uh, next year. Of course, West Virginia with the big bowl win over North Carolina last night in Charlotte. Here come the Irish. Little scoop jackknife layup, no good, and the rebound comes down to Sarton. So the Tigers on the attack. Got a nice guard combination. Big guy on the high post. They cannot get it to him. Stover passing the ball off to Sarton. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I guess, huh? Turnover coming. Irish quickly under the basket. There's the lay-in good by Wilcox. So Max Wilcox scores, and it is 5-2, to two, favor of the visitors from Charleston. Collins. Stover. He's in trouble. Picked up at the last moment, and now from the corner, here it comes, and it's short. Stover rebounds. He's bottled up. Back out for a three ball, and it's no good. So the Tiger team, and they've got to be a little bit tired because they played last night in Summersville. Now playing an afternoon game here in Beckley. Scrambling. It's a running, gunning shot, and it's banked in good. How did that go in? Well, that's luck of the Irish, right? That's Cinco for two. Cinco is five. That's right. He's able to sink the shot. Good luck of the Irish. Hopefully my Irish will have luck tomorrow in the sun ball. 
We'll find out about that. Well, we'll talk about that later. Later, like tomorrow. Like, yeah. <laughs> like never, right? <laughs> Here's Princeton. Starting with it now. He saw plenty of action last year. From deep in the corner, that's no good. The Tiger team cold shooting, but they get the offensive rebound, and it's taken away. We'll come the other end of the floor. Irish on the fast break. Short shot, good. Jay Allen Turner, he's normally their leading scorer, and it's 9-2, and with that, Princeton wants a timeout. So, four minutes left, and let's take a look at the rebound, or rather at the instant replay. And Maris, what's fun about these replays today, we've got not one, not two, but three cameras. Yeah, so you won't miss a thing as we go to break here on video. Dave Ford, where every deal is a big John deal. Northside Drive, Route 19 in Somersville. Come see why people from all over the great state of West Virginia are making the drive to Somersville. Incredible deals on brand new Fords. The state's guaranteed lowest price on brand new F-150s, Super Duties, and more. Plus incredible service after the sale at Midstate Ford. Northside Drive, right off of Route 19 in Somersville. Online anytime at MidstateFordWV.com. The main goal of our firm is to provide the best client experience possible. I want my clients to believe that they've experienced fairness. Then finally, I want them to know. Ready to go. Princeton down by seven, and they need some scoring right now. So far, they've been not able to find the bucket, and there's the turnover again. Boy, oh, Catholic, oh, what a nice move. Shot no good, but the follow-up coming into the paint, knocked away. Still Catholic ball. And count the bucket to Max Wilcox. He gets that plus a chance at the foul line. It's a nine-point lead for the Irish. Well, you know, Bill, there's never a good time for a turnover, especially if you're the coach at Princeton. You call a timeout, and then right out of the timeout, you turn the ball over. And now when you turn it over, you give up a potential three-point play, an and one. And Catholic, after giving up the first two, now on a 11 nothing. Possibly 12 nothing run. Nope, I jinxed it. Just 11 run. That's the announcer's jinx, no doubt about it. All right, let's see what uh, Britt Beasley into the ball game wearing number three for Princeton can do. Underneath, fake shot, too strong. 99.5% of the time, Sarton's going to make that shot, but not that time. Stover is the point guard, passes it off, and that's Beasley, number three, and a long bomb from Stover misses everything. Out of bounds to the Irish. This is Cinco working with it, passing on the near sideline. And back out it comes to Wilcox, high post. We understand this guy can really motor. Turner, he averages better than 18 points per game. He's 6-4. And the three, in and out. Stover with it. Down the floor, layup try. Good. So give uh, Neely his first points. And it's 11-4. So finally the Tigers get on the board with two and a half to play in the opening period. Turner on the weave to Reynolds. Gets it to the corner, and he's trying to get it inside. Princeton collapses on the in close people, and there's a charging foul going to be called. I don't think. I think it's going to be out. The ball's knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay. It'll stay with the cap. Yeah, you're right. I saw the referee put his hand behind his head. Actually, I think he's scratching his ear. <laughs> Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Stover with it. And he's going to take his time. They're in no hurry. Down by seven. Stover again. Cannot penetrate. 
And that's Thomas shooting just into the ball game, and that's off the side. No good. Reed Thomas, a 6-1 senior for the Tiger team. Irish from three. It's good. And that's Reynolds' second long ball for Charleston Catholic. 14-4. Princeton, give and go, layup good, nice play. Thomas, well, Coach Rob Williams said, I've got 11 guys, I'm going to play all of them. Less than a minute to go in the opening period. So far, it's been all Charleston Catholic. What do we have? <laughs> Let's watch the little general replay. Give me the blue can all day. I'll take all three of them. <laughs> I'm a variety drinker. There you go. This is Turner. Watch out. He is good long and short. 40 seconds left. And the Irish in no hurry. Yeah. Very seldom, Bill, do you see teams now with 35 seconds left in a quarter hold it for the last shot. But it looks like that is what Cap is going to do. Cinco. Or tried to. Yeah. All right, here they go. 19 seconds left, and they're into their offense. Princeton has tightened up the defense just a bit. Here's a fadeaway shot from in close, and it is stuck there by the rim. We talk about the broadcast with James. I said I thought they would attempt to take the last shot of the quarter, and they do not. So Princeton with 9.6, plenty of time to get the ball up the floor and get a good shot before you get number one. Luke Blades wearing 34 in the green outfit is the substitute for Catholic. So under 10 seconds to play in the opening period, and it'll be the Irish. Well, yeah, so it won't be Princeton because the arrow is pointed with Catholics, and now maybe there's a discussion at the table because when the ball sticks like that, uh, they go to the arrow, and they were thinking that it was going to be Princeton's ball, but then they say, no, it's the arrow's in Catholic's favor. Officials are at the official scores table to determine and see uh, what the case is. By the way, first of four games we'll do today. There's a 4 o'clock game, a 6 o'clock game, and an 8 o'clock game, and we'll have them all for you, and we'll give you details at halftime. Here we come. The Tigers need some points desperately, and they're working against stifling defense, and it's tipped away with a second to go, and that'll do it. So it's been all... Charleston Catholic in the first quarter. We played one, the Irish 14, Princeton 6, back in a minute on Video Productions. Hi, I'm Leanna Burnett, owner of Window World of Beckley. At Window World, we are proud to deliver exterior solutions that are beautiful, affordable, and guaranteed for life. We do things the right way. Honest pricing, no gimmicks, and thousands of satisfied customers. Call Window World of Beckley today at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW and have your new window siding and doors before winter. Window World of Beckley, family owned. Nationally known. You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. We're back side court here at the Day Barksdale Court under the dome at the Armory, still affectionately referred to as the Armory. Now officially it's the Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center. This is the Little General Store's battle for the Armory. I'm Bill O'Brien. Maris Lowry is working with me today. Brian Helton will be along later this afternoon. Nick Eskins is the heavy hitter. He's our producer director and Butch Mounts, our executive producer, is here courtside as well. You know it's big when he's here. 
And then another camera, too. There's a bounce pass, bank shot, counted good. So give Jay Allen Turner his second bucket, and it's another 10 point lead for the visitors from Charleston. Well, you can have two last names when you make a move like that. That's right. <laughs> Here's Stover. Makes his move in for a lip, and he's hacked and fouled. He'll get two shots. And the foul is going to be called on Wilkes Aliff, his first. So Stover gets his third point. And here we come the other way. The Irish looking good so far. A little scoop layup too strong. Oh, that... Uh, Jeffrey Reynolds wishes he had that one back. Thomas in the lane, and that one will go down for him. Nice shot that time by Britt Beasley. I beg your pardon. I think I called him something else. Beasley. It was a good shot, and, you know, I like the fact that they let him play through the contact. He got but was able to still uh, knock down the uh, field goal. Charging foul. This time for sure it's a charge. This time he wasn't scratching his head. Yeah. That's clearly a uh, charge. You watch that last bucket. Like I said, there was a lot of contact. I like how the, it seems like, I don't know if it is different, but it seems like the officials have called it this year a different deal where they're allowing a lot more contact in both on the boys' side and the girls' side to be able to play through it like they did on that one and without a foul. So, so driving the lane, you got to be strong with the ball. So Beasley had been given credit for that, and number 10 is Reed Thomas for the Princeton Tigers. I think we're all set and ready to go here. Well, or are we? Yeah. As soon as you say it's okay, Bill, then it's okay. Well, it's from side court out of bounds instead of at the end of the floor. Well, the officials are having a, a – one of the officials had a uh, – talking over to the scores table to make sure they got something correct. Make sure the score is correct. I keep a running the score. So that means if I got it right, the match the scoreboard means it's right. There you go. Amen. Here's Beasley. Britt Beasley, junior at 5'9", in the weave to Stover. Stover is their leading point maker on the year. And now Thomas, back to Beasley. From the foul line, and it's a little short. Irish with it. Charleston Catholic preseason number one in double A. And they are undefeated in six games this year. Now well, Princeton a little more aggressive defensively, double teaming the ball, making the Irish work for every pass, every shot. Teardrop, lay in good. Nice shot that time by Wilcox. Here's Stover. Thomas with it. In on the, uh, on the post. You got to like the way the Irish, let's take a look at that last replay. Wilcox now with six points for Charleston Catholic. All right, inbounds play coming. For Princeton. New player in the ballgame. We'll check him in a moment. My score sheet is a mess. I just got to tell you, that is Kaiser. Kalen Kaiser, number 13. Seven-point game, so Princeton stays within shouting distance. I cannot. That's the problem. I know that's the problem. This is what I'm telling you. I got handwriting like a doctor. Well, I will tell you, I had the lineups all nice there. Keith Thompson gave them to me. He's the public address announcer and, of course, longtime radio play-by-play -play man here in the Beckley market. And then all of a sudden we found out he gave me last year's lineup. So <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a <laughs> he did. Oh, he didn't mean to. No. That's 
facing the inbound balls, Cap from the setback shot. Here we go. That's Kaiser with it, wearing number 13. 11 is Moser. Mares, you're being kind. Out of whack. It's it's worse than that. <laughs> Here's Catholic. Give and go. In close. Short shot. No. Moser. In close. Layup good. And uh, give Stover the basket. He's got five points, and all of a sudden it's a five-point game. And with that, a timeout, 4.08 to go till halftime. We'll be back in a minute from the Armory. This is Video Productions. The main goal of our firm is to provide the best client experience possible. I want my clients to believe that they've experienced fairness. Then finally, I want them to know that they got a friend. I'm not in the business of running off business, but I'm in the business of being honest. At the end of the day and at the end of the case, I want the client to know that they didn't leave anything on the table, to feel without doubt that they made the right decision to hire this firm. This game is sponsored by Brian Helton. Brian is running to represent you in the state Senate. Brian is the conservative choice for Raleigh, Wyoming, and Fayette counties. He is pro-life and supports our Second Amendment rights. Brian Helton will work hard to make it happen. Paid for by Helton for West Virginia. Kayla Kessinger, Treasurer. Hey, my name is Justice, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nugget trays is that they're all unique. Every nugget you look at is its own different special little nugget. They're great for any occasion, but especially holidays. When you don't have enough time, when you need something quick, that flavor is always popping. Yours truly, Bill O'Brien, back under the dome in Beckley. The Little General Stores battle for the Armory, and Maris Lowry is doing extra work here. He'll be doing the play-by-play -play on the next game, and also the 8 o'clock game. And I'll be working the 6 o'clock game later on today. Four games under the dome here in Beckley. And that one is a bad pass. And the Princeton Tigers down by only five will get possession of the ball. They were down by ten just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. And talking about the other games, the next game, 4 o'clock, Eric Thomas will join me. It'll be Ron and Mr. Jason Rose. And then you and Brian help will have a 6 o'clock game, which will be Shady and uh, East Fairmont. And then the nightcap, Eric and I will have Oak Hill and Beckley. Well, the Tigers, they're out of sync, but still, they're close. Yeah, Princeton scored the first two points of the game, and half of the ran off uh, 11 straight. And the biggest lead has been 10, the lead's been cut in half now to 5. Cinco with it. Check me. That's uh, Wilcox. And now we'll come to the uh, side of the floor. It's their big gun, Turner. He is a player, and he is fouled. Ransom inbounds. Watch Turner. Nice bank shot. Boy, that's a pretty, pretty by J. Allen Turner. He's got six points. Stover with it now. And uh, there we go. Our thanks to Brian Helton for the replay sponsorship, and there's a foul on the spin move, and so it'll be foul shooting time for the Charleston Catholic Irish. Number one in double-A, and as many of you know, most of you know, basketball has had four classifications, and now football will join that along with other sports. Princeton, a 4A team. It's all confusing. Well, that's why I'm bringing you up to speak. I tell you, it's crazy. Ransom, with his first point, averages eight per game, 6'3", at a sophomore. This is Zayden Ransom. You mean me or 
I'm, I'm not going to say nothing else. I'm just We're moving right along, sports fans. <laughs> oh, thank you. Get some goodies here. Appreciate it. Sam Hall making sure the announcers are cared for. And here we come the other way. Catholic. Love to move it up quickly. Turner with it now. So he said he can play any position on the floor and do it well. He goes in for a short shot. Wow, nice shot. That's Jay Allen Turner. He's got eight points. The 6'4 senior gives him a 10-point advantage again. Stover. High post now. To the corner. Running one-hander will not go down, and the Irish are on the attack. Here's a three-on-two fast break, four-on-two now. Layup is good. Well, you got to love the way they work as a team, and that's Max Wilson with his seventh and eighth points, and with that, a timeout. 30-second timeout, and Maris, let's talk about what we're going to be talking about later in the afternoon, and that is after this game. Game two features Wyoming East and James Monroe, and uh, what do you know about them? Well, I did, well here's what I know about Wyoming East. They... Uh, they have a very good point guard in Lambert, and they lost to Bluefield, but they never got sick. The game was tight at halftime, and then East got blown out, but Bluefield's very good. But uh, I know they're well coached with, you know, Gary Brooks, the head coach, and his father, uh, you know, Herbie Brooks, the star at Mullins, and still has the state scoring record in the state of West Virginia. 50 points. 50 points, and that happened in 1983. I was there against Lenore, and Lenore's not even in school anymore. How about that? Quote the Raven Lenore. Well, That's uh, anyway, and you ask me what I know about him, but, and, and James Rowe, I really don't know anything about him. They're well coached, too. And James Rowe has been to the state finals the last two seasons. Coach Matt Savage has done a terrific job with that program at and, uh, James Monroe. And I can give you another little uh, nugget on Coach Matt Savage. And I bet you didn't know this, Bill. I do. Well, well you ain't heard what I'm going to tell you. Well, he's at two schools. No, right. Did you know that? I knew that. that he coaches volleyball at Greenbrier. I see. I knew that. We'll see. There you go. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, but you said you didn't think I used to know. <laughs> We finish each other's sentences. That's scary, isn't it? <laughs> Stover. <laughs> Stover from three. No good. Again, Princeton's long shooting has just not worked. Watch out. Turner. Little Euro step didn't work that time, and Stover's got it. Kaiser wearing 13 and back out to the point man, Stover. Gavin Stover, a senior, 5'10". Averaging 15 per game and runs the team very nicely. Sarton, he's another good player. Been bottled up so far. Air ball, and here comes Charleston Catholic. 12-point advantage. And only 13 points put up by the Tigers so far with a minute left to play until intermission. Yeah, just only 13 points, and that's a good point, Bill, because that's really been a uh, good Charleston Catholic defense. I mean, Granite Catholic's only put up 25 in the half, and, and I'm not going to say they're going to hold it for the last shot because I'm sure they'll shoot it before 49 seconds. Well, you, you, <laughs> but you're not sure. Well, everybody does in this day and time, right here it is. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, give Turner the bucket. Yeah, if you can get Turner down the lane to go right to the front of the rim and dunk it, you don't need to wait for the final shot as we watch the replay. And what makes this play, Bill, is look at the proper spacing on the floor. That's the old give and go, the old split play, the old Celtics and Bill Russell's day, what they used to use with Russell to Hebel check with Kuzi, and that was a throwback play, and it gets the hoop in the arm. Mosser called for his second foul for the Tiger team, and to the line with 10 points so far, and leading all scoring is Jay Allen Turner. We told you he's 6'4 and a senior and a really good-looking player. He was a member of that team that went to the double-A title game last year. They had everybody back, starters, and most of the rest of the team as well. Boy, Coach uh, Hunter Moles, who was a product of South Charleston High School. This is his fifth year as the head man here at Irish. And count the foul shot by Turner. And it's a 15-point lead. That's the longest lead of the game. they got to get somebody hot. From deep in the corner, there it is. Nice shot that time by Sarton. So that three ball gets them a little bit closer. No, it's going to be a two, apparently. 
15 seconds left till intermission. Pass it in close. Here's Turner, and he traveled in. He took a little. Yeah, a foul before the bunny hop there. That's why he got the bunny hop. He got pushed. I bet you there's a replay here. And, yeah, and uh, they're over the limit because that's the fifth foul. And actually, I like the new rule. What do you think about the, the new rule? No more one on one, two shots. And we start over every quarter as we watch that replay. And right there, you can see he gets pushed right there in the back. And uh, Turner now two for two foul shooting is 12th point. So, Bill, what do you think of the new rule? You like it? Oh, I do like it. Yeah, I, I do. Think most people that I've talked to that watch games or in the media like us, I think they do like it. In and out, tough luck miss, 14-point game, two seconds left, tipped away at the buzzer. That is the end of a Charleston Catholic outstanding first half. The Irish 29, Princeton Tigers 15. We'll be back with all the stats, and we'll have an interesting halftime interview. I'm sure with Maris Lowry here, we'll be talking basketball after a break on Video Productions. Tennessee Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Take care of this by the end of the day. Uh, sure, I'll take care of that. Done. It's that easy with compliance. Compliance, we've got your back office. Dutch Miller's Beckley Auto Mall, West Virginia's largest GMC Buick dealer, is a proud sponsor of West Virginia High School Athletics and our area student athletes. Dutch Miller's Beckley Auto Mall, with two locations for your convenience, 3934 Robert C. Bird Drive in Beckley and 8762 Seneca Trail in Fairley. Plus, you can shop 24-7 at BeckleyAutoMall.com. Dutch Miller's Beckley Auto Mall and West Virginia's student athletes. A winning combination. GMC, we are professional grade. Unlock the money already in your home at City National Bank. Consolidate loans or fund your next big project with a home equity line of credit with a great low intro rate. Visit your local branch to get started. City National Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Learn more at homeequity.bankitcity.com. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. Compliance helped me lose 50 pounds by freeing up tasks like payroll, HR, and bookkeeping. I'm now free to do what I want. With Compliance, you can do what you want to do. Compliance, we've got your back office. Hey, my name is Justice, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nugget trays is that they're all unique. Every nugget you look at is its own different special little nugget. They're great for any occasion, but especially holidays. When you don't have enough time, when you need something quick, that flavor is always popping. And we welcome you back to the Raleigh County Convention Center, Dave Bartsdale Court. I'm Maris Lowry, working color with Bill O'Brien here this afternoon for this first game as Charleston Catholic has a 29-15 lead over Princeton. Princeton scored the first two, and then Charleston Catholic ran off the next 11, take 11-2 lead. It was 14-6 at the end of the quarter in favor of Catholic. Catholic's biggest lead was 15. It's a 14-point advantage now, 29-15. We're going to go inside the numbers, and inside the numbers brought to you by Pepsi of Southern West Virginia. Nothing tastes as good as a Nice cold Pepsi, and whether it's Pepsi or Pepsi Zero or Diet Pepsi, the smooth taste of Pepsi. So going inside the numbers, here's Bill. Okay, Maris, thanks very much. And with 12 points leading all scoring is Charleston Catholic's Jay Allen Turner. 12 points for him, including five out of nine from the floor. Eight points, four or five shooting from the floor for Max Wilcox. He's got eight. Six points for Jeff Reynolds off the bench. Two points for Gio Cinco. He's the starting point guard. And one point for Zayden Ransom. So that's the scoring for Charleston Catholic. As they've got a big lead here at intermission, a 14-point advantage, 29-15. to 15. Well, for the Princeton Tigers, they have had their problems hitting only 7 of 19 from the field. And their total point maker, their best guy is 
Gavin Stover, only five points at intermission. Four points for Cone Sarton. Two points for Markel Lowe. Two points for Britt Beasley. One point for Brad Musser. And uh, one point for Sarton. That's been the scoring. I beg your pardon. Four points for him. So anyway, it's, uh, it's been hard to get points in the hoop for the Mercer County team, and I'm sure in the locker room, Maris, you know, the coach has got to be saying, hey, you guys have got to loosen up and you got to start making shots. Well, I think one way to help make shots, Bill, is to be better on defense. And if you play better defense, that can lead to better offense. And, you know, we said it uh, earlier in the first segment here and inside the numbers, a you know, 15-point lead was the biggest lead of the half. It's 14 now, and I think if you're Princeton, you've got to get this thing to single digits, uh, you know, at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, to have maybe a real legit chance, to, you know, to pull it off. Put yourself in a much better position by being only down single digits going into the fourth quarter. We'll see how it plays out. All right, we'll talk more basketball coming up. First, we're going to pause for a moment. By the way, this is the Pepsi division. There is a Burger King division in this tournament. And speaking of Pepsi, we will have the Pepsi player of the game at the conclusion of our broadcast. Right now, though, let's take a pause. We're at halftime under the dome at the Dave Barksdale Court in Beckley. And this is high school basketball tournament style on video productions. Tennessee Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Mid-State Ford, where every deal is a big John deal. Northside Drive, Route 19 in Somersville. Come see why people from all over the great state of West Virginia are making the drive to Somersville. Incredible deals on brand new Fords. The state's guaranteed lowest price on brand new F-150s, Super Duties, and more. Plus, incredible service after the sale at Mid-State Ford. Northside Drive, right off of Route 19 in Somersville. Online anytime at MidStateFordWV.com. At Access Health, we believe there's a difference between care and caring. We know you by name, and our 26 locations keep you healthy so that you can do the things that truly matter. We won't raise your rates just because of an accident. Sure, everyone thinks they're a good driver. But when an accident happens, with Allstate, you don't have to worry, even if it's your fault. It's called accident forgiveness, and it starts the day you sign up. You're in good hands with Allstate. As a former college football player, I realized that sports-related injuries can happen real fast. Hello, I'm Dr. Gross. If your child or grandchild is dealing with sports-related injuries, or maybe you're dealing with something that just won't go away, call me today and I can help you get back on the playing field. To better serve you, see us at one of our three locations in Beckley, Whipple, and Sophia at the numbers listed below. So take care of yourself. You deserve it. Hey, grab me one too. And we are back under the dome at what is still known in these parts as the Armory. Officially, this is the Beckley-Raleigh County Convention Center, and this is where basketball is king 
for the next three days, actually two days in this tournament, and then we'll be back on Saturday to broadcast a college game, Maris. You know, Bill, I know you live close to here, but instead of going home, you might as well just live here for the next three days. You don't need to go home. Look, you got plenty of Pepsi to drink. you got plenty of food. You know, we're going to have uh, great food from Subway with uh, Little General. So, you know, we're going to have that. So you have plenty of food. You have plenty to drink. And I'm sure they can find you a cot. You don't have to sleep on the hard basketball court. And uh, you could just, they got showers. So you could just live here. Could anybody do my laundry? That's the next well, question. Well, you won't need laundry for, for only for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Not for three days. I don't know. I need some deodorant for well, sure. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we can get you, we, we can pipe all that in. We can get you, we can get you going. You'll never have to leave. <laughs> You have everything you want. Oh, man, this is great. If you love basketball, you want to come by this building because, as we mentioned, this is the first of four games today. There will be four games here tomorrow as part of the Little General Store's battle for the Armory. And we'd like to thank Charlie Houck. You know, he is the tournament director. He is beloved in this community. He is the director of marketing for Little General Stores. And Little General does so much for the community, including this. They wish all of you a very healthy and happy New Year. Yeah, and you know what? Since it's a Pepsi division, and it's also not only a Pepsi division, but it's also a Burger King division, maybe we get a Whopper to go with that uh, with that Pepsi. What do you think about that? Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, how about that? Playing some uh, Running on Empty by Jackson Brown. You know about this, don't you, Bill? I know Merle Haggard. I Merle don't know. Haggard? Yeah. Bring some Merle Haggard. Probably nobody in our audience remembers <laughs> Merle Haggard. But they all would know Jackson Brown, I would think. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, but no. I, well, you do, right? Because you and Jackson Brown are the same age. 39? Yeah. yeah. Whatever, however you are, he's the same age. Because <laughs> he said he was the same age you was in the same year that you was that age. Oh, How man. do you like that? I love it. All I right. Ready it. for the second half? Princeton will have the possession, and we'll turn things over to the call of the second half, Bill O'Brien. Okay. Thanks, Maris Lowry. And here we go again. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the players for the Mercer County team inbounding the ball. It's Markel Lowe, and he gets it into the point guard, Stover. Gavin Stover, very good ball handler, runs the team nicely, and also their leading scorer. Low passing it off on the wing and back in the middle to Stover. So Princeton needs to get rolling. They did not score double digits in either of the first two quarters. But here's the thing, Bill. You're right. They do need to get rolling, but they don't need to score. I think they can score, you know, eight points on one basket. they got to take it a possession at a time. Here's Sarton. That's where he likes to go normally, and he passes it off to Neely. Neely can't handle it. Right in front of us. Good hustle that time as the Tigers keep the ball. Neely. There is no shot clock in high school ball, so even though there were some people behind us counting it down, they're counting down just for vocal exercise. <laughs> but is that what it was, vocal exercise? That's what it was. A three <laughs> ball and count it for Neely. Wow, that's a good way to start the half, uh, their first possession on the offensive end. But here's the deep, the, the end of the floor where Princeton's really got to get good at if they're going to come back and win this game. They really got to dig down deep here on the defensive end. Here's Reynolds shooting from 15 feet. It's no good, and here come the Tigers on the attack. Yeah, I've never heard anything quite put like that, vocal exercise. Is that what we do? I got a dictionary <laughs> from Santa. What can I tell you? <laughs> little scoop shot not there, but a whistle stops it, and we've got a foul call, and here's the replay, courtesy of Chick-fil-A, the three ball. Markel Lowe, who uh, takes the ball to the basket there and draws the foul. Bill, in my opinion, he was one of the best, if not the best, football player that I saw this year in covering games with video productions. Tremendous running back, and he'll get the line to shoot too. So right out of the locker room, two good possessions for Princeton as they were able to uh, hit a bucket and now uh, hit a three, and now the first of these two free throws is good. Markel Lowe in the scorebook, six foot and a junior, and he's certainly got to get going if his team is going to have a chance for success. And Ten like, point game. And like I said, Bill, if he uh, turns out to be any kind of basketball player like he was in football, then uh, Princeton and, and Markel Lowe are going to have a tremendous season because he's one heck of a football player. Here's Cinco with it in the weave. Wilcox. Tipped around, and here come the Tigers on the fast break. Oh, what a nice pass. Layup badly missed. Oh, my goodness. Collins normally going to get that. Tigers keep the ball. Spin move inside the foul line, and it's short. Yeah, Princeton had missed, uh, you know, three uh, golden opportunities there. And Sarton normally would go make that shot. Other end missed, 
And out of bounds. No, it isn't out of bounds. Tipped around, tipped around, and Princeton's got the ball, and here we come the other way. A nine-point lead, and it's out of bounds to the Irish. Yeah, that time I think your Princeton should have let it go out of bounds. I think it would have been their ball, but right now through the first two minutes and one second, Princeton has got stops, and that's what they have to do. They were down as many as 15 in the first half, down 14 at the break, and they've chipped in to the lead now, down to single digits, only down nine. This is the guy got to watch, Turner. Head of the lane. Three ball airborne, and it's good. Oh, a nice play that time. And give the points to Cinco. Yep. Cinco with a three ball. Yep. Definitely got the shooter's roll. It's a nice soft touch, able to ring it up for three. That was a big turnaround. Should have been two points on the other end for the Tigers, and they missed a couple of good opportunities. And then the three ball for the visitors from Charleston. And Turnover. traveling called that time on Neely. You know, it is the holiday season, and people back, uh, they pack their bags and travel. And that's what <laughs> Princeton did on that one as they turn it over. Okay. Pulling out all the old stuff, aren't we? Well, you know, Bill, uh, got to have a lot of information. I was unexpectedly put in to do this game. I didn't know I was going to do it here today. We appreciate you uh, doing extra work. By the way, our... Our man, Brian Helton, has arrived from Charlotte, so he'll work with me at 6 o'clock. Three ball missing. Cinco passes. Back out it comes. Wilcox, give and go layup. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, yes, it is. That that's, is pretty. Wilcox with 10 points. Bill, that's pretty no matter what area you're talking about. From your day of the 60s to here almost 2024, 20, that's excellent basketball and a nice give and go and a nice easy bucket. That's the way James Naismith, I think, intended it to yes. be played. You know, team-wise, give and go kind of stuff. Yeah. Good recovery. And, and, you know, to me, a play like that is more rewarding than, you know, a, a three ball because that's what everybody wants to shoot now. They want to shoot threes. But that's like old-style, old old-fashioned basketball. Stover, oh, nice play, going to the left hand, and Stover lays it in. He's got seven, and the Tigers are back within hailing distance. We're almost midway through the third quarter here under the dome at the Armory. Little General Stores tournament, give and go. Nice in-close shot. Give the bucket to Ransom, his first basket of the afternoon. And you can see how well coached Catholic is. They have great spacing, great passing, moving without the ball. And like I said, they really, you can try to turn back the clock with Catholic. They play old-style basketball and able to get the layup there. Sarton missing from downtown and the Irish on the rebound. And they've got a three-on-three. Three. Couldn't get it. Knocked out of bounds. And Charleston Catholic will keep it. By the way, if you can see, well, our camera angle doesn't show. There he is on the very far left. The guy in the suit and tie is the head coach. You just don't see that anymore. Hunter Moles looking really sharp. Obviously, Santa visited him. Well, so, you know. The Satorial one thing, Splendor. Short shot. Yeah. It'll be two yeah. shots coming up here. And that was Wilkes Aliff into the ballgame wearing number 20, 6'2", and a sophomore. He will go to the line for two. And, you know, you're so right, Bill. In fact, Coach Moles has really always kind of been decked out like that with the tie, and you just don't see that even now anymore. You don't see it from the pros. You don't see it in the college level, and you certainly don't see it in high school. Very few suit and ties are worn on the bench anymore. Here's Aliff, and he rattles it in, his first point of the afternoon. And back to a 15-point yeah. lead. This matches their longest. That's right. If he can make this, we'll give their, their biggest lead. And, you know, Princeton had trimmed it to nine, but now a chance for Catholic to get the lead back to 16. Here's Aliff. Perfect. Aliff gets them both. Longest lead, 16 right here with three minutes and 40 seconds to go third quarter. Of course, you know, if, in case you're just joining us, Princeton is without Nick Fleming here this afternoon. He uh, had an injury, and that makes a big difference in – uh, what Princeton does on you know both ends of the floor, double he's, dribble. He's their best player and yeah. uh, their leading scorer. And a little off balance shot. It was awkward, and it will belong to the Irish. Yeah, it was double dribble in the lane. But here's the thing, Bill. Every team wants to win as many games as you can. As that ball's knocked out of bounds, every team wants to win as many games as you can. But ultimately. Are you better at the end of the year than you are at, at, the, at, at the end of the year than you are at the beginning of the year? And can you make noise when you get into the postseason? Because everybody has an equal opportunity. Catholic with it. That's Reynolds. Drives the end line, knocks the backboard, and it will belong to the Tigers. It hit up underneath. Yeah. 
So it hits up underneath and didn't really realize that that was uh, out of bounds because the side, the side is not out of bounds. The top is, but I didn't realize that the bottom because I tell you on on the college level on women's basketball, there's not a game goes by that one of the girls on either or whoever's playing doesn't shoot the ball up under the basket like that. Reed Thomas passing to Sarton. Sarton's got it now. The big guy with a spin move. The middle was clogged up. Running shot counted for uh, Mosser. Brad. Musser. Yeah, nice little floater in the lane. Looking good. 14-point game. Irish hustling down the floor. They got a man loose underneath, and there's the foul. So it's going to be two shots again for Wilkes Aliff, or was it on the floor before it's on, the shot? It's on the floor. They're not going to count that in the act of shooting. So it'll be underneath the basket for a Catholic to have to inbound the ball. And they've got uh, two new players coming in. Max Wilcox is wearing number 30 on his green outfit. And Luke Blades is number 34 for Charleston Catholic. Here's Turner. Turner again from three. Count it. Yeah, you could tell he was going to make that the minute the ball left his hand. Great rotation on the ball. Great uh, art. And now the biggest lead of the game right here for Catholic. 15 points for Turner leading all scoring. Here's Stover. Oh, they're on him very, very closely. Back out it comes to Reed Thomas. Thomas makes his move. Stops off balance shot. It will not go down, but he is fouled. And let's take a look at the three-point on the replay. Yep, there you go. Draw in the defenders, and then they throw the ball back out. Turner able splash down from downtown. Turner making it look easy. They've got a nice lead now, yeah. Irish. And to the line, here's Thomas, 6'1", and a senior. He scored two and rims out. Yeah, this is the largest lead of the game right here for Catholic. So Charleston Catholic coming in 6 and 0. Oh. Princeton 3 and 1. Princeton in the big school class 4A, Catholic in the AA class, but it doesn't make any difference today. So one out of two for Thomas and uh, it's a 16 point game as we approach 2 minutes left in the third quarter. And Bill I always believe if you can play, you can play. If you got a team, you can team. That when you're separated by classes, you can only play five at a time on the, on the floor. So I know it, it matters in some degrees. A big class, a little class is Catholic for the layup. But basically, Catholic, even though they're double A, they can compete with most uh, quad A teams. That was Blades who missed the easy lay-in, but it'll be two shots coming up here for Max Wilcox. Well, so let's take a look at the replay brought to you by Brian Helton. Your conservative choice for state senate. Thank you, Brian. He'll be joining me at six o'clock for that broadcast here on Video Productions. So, Mayor's talking about classes. State of Indiana has always had just one class for all schools, and it seems that it's worked out there for the most part. Well, that one missed. Well, I, I suppose it has. I guess what's one for uh, what's good for one might not be good for all. I mean, you know, I, I'm sure there are a lot of different takes on it that people like it, some do, some don't. Uh, I'm sure that uh, now that, you know, Princeton, after being runner-up in, in AAA in football this past year. That was an interesting Well, I, I'm getting ready to get into that point. Beasley, after the shot. long what, shot good. What I'm saying is now. Long shot not there, but Princeton able to keep it going. Short shot, there's a foul. So uh, Beasley thought he had the. Two points from 10 feet and not there, but I think he'll go to the line. A minute nine to go, third quarter here. Princeton has just not been able to click. They scored only first point, six points in the first quarter, nine in the second, and uh, they're a little bit better here at 13 in this quarter. Yeah, they're, Rick Beasley, 5'9", junior, coming in at the line for two. When we said they were down by 14, they were down 14 at the half, said they got to get this to single digits. So perhaps they can and cut it to 12 if they can make it here and cut it to 11 and get a stop because you know Catholic's not going to hold the ball for the last shot over the last 109. So if they can get a stop, they can actually do what we, what we both thought that they needed to do is get it to single digits going into the fourth quarter. Beasley makes them both. So it's an 11-point game, so the Tigers stay within shouting distance. Right, and if they can get a stop here and they can cut the lead to single digits, they'll have a real shot going into the fourth quarter. And the Tigers are pressing all over the floor. Irish able to break it. Good passing. And there's a foul. Yeah, because we know that, like I said, that they're not going to hold the ball for the final shot. 
We've got an extra microphone going on here somewhere. No, I think we're good. All right. Yeah. That's crowd noise, Bill. Yeah, right. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, here's Reynolds. So maybe they will hold for the final shot. And Cinco, but I, but, but yeah, I doubt 40, it. 40, 40, 40 <laughs> score. But I doubt it. Because <laughs> you know I'm going to jinx them. If I say they're going to hold it for the final shot, they won't. See what I tell you. They're, not, they're trying to get off the shot. 28 seconds left. You're right. They still. Uh, uh, you're that's, just spacing. That's, that's already twice you've already told me I'm right in this game. They still won't hold it. More to come. More shot. to come. That's Cinco. Well, I hope I'm right more more often uh, further on. I told you they wouldn't take the final shot. Reynolds from three just missing, and the rebound fought for, and Princeton's got it with 10 seconds. He thought, I think he thought that there was no time left, so he throws the ball I'm not, 90 feet. The ball hit one of the banners here hanging, uh, you know, all the Beckley Championship banners, so I'm not really sure what the Collins thought. There was 11 seconds. Maybe he thought there was one second. Yeah, I don't know what he replay. thought. As he definitely did not have to do that. So he definitely did not know the time of what was going on in the quarter. You know, Maris, I have been broadcasting in this building since 1969. I cannot remember a time when a banner has been hit on a pass. Well, that was a shot. Yeah. <laughs> or a shot. Turnaround shot, no. Follow up at the buzzer, no. Interesting third quarter. It's an 11-point lead as we go to the last eight minutes. Charleston Catholic on the happy side of the scoreboard here at the Armory, courtesy of Little General Stores, and we'll be back in a minute on Video Productions. Here we grow again. Pioneer Community Bank is proud to offer a network of banks right here in our communities. By offering you more locations, Pioneer continues to meet all your banking needs where you are. Please stop by our new Harper Road location. We are truly investing in Southern West Virginia. Pioneer Community Bank. Friendly service, great products. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Along with my partner, Maris Lowry, yours truly, Bill O'Brien, and we're ready for the last quarter of play with an 11-point lead for the Irish from Charleston Catholic, and they'll inbound the ball. The green and white from the capital city. Boy, they have played nice ball, very sound fundamentally. Reynolds with it right now. Well, that was a little bit of a travel, got well, away with it. His sneakers didn't grab on the hardwood, and Princeton in a zone right now. Yeah, Princeton led two to nothing, and then it's been Catholic ever since. Here's Turner. He's the big gun. But to Cinco, lobbing underneath, and Turner couldn't catch the alley oop. We'll come the other way, and let's take a look at the Tigers. They need points right now, and a offensive whistle, foul. and it's going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, give the third foul on Brad Musser. Yeah, and that's a good call. As we watch the replay, Musser just goes hard to the basket. You can see the defender for Catholic. He's set, charge all the way. Good call. You see the Catholic players, look at that. They're doing a little extra duty. They're a little mopping up some of the perspiration when the players hit the deck there. Nice move. By the way, next game coming up after this, we'll have it with Maris Lowry and E.T. Eric Thomas, and it'll be James Monroe and Wyoming East. These are all boys' games, and the first two games are in the Pepsi division. By the way, speaking of Pepsi, we will have the Pepsi player of the game in our wrap-up show of this one. The next two games, the last two, the 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock games, that is the Burger King division. All right, here are the Irish, and the pass is intercepted and retaken. A little sloppy, but fast break time for the Irish, and the layup is good. Nice play that time by Aleph. I tell you, Charleston Catholic is so well coached. Their spacing has been so good here this afternoon on everything they've done, and they ran the floor well, and they got that easy layup, but it started with the defense. Sarton, fadeaway shot from 15. That's an air ball, and it's yeah. out of bounds to Charleston Catholic. That was a tough shot. Sarton was hoping he was going to get bailed out for the fouls. So we watched that last play. Look at that. Behind the back, 
Look at that little pearl. That's what you call a pearl in the playground, Bill, <laughs> and a nice finish at the rim. That was pretty, no doubt about it. We're into the first minute of the last quarter. People continuing to come into the armory. Here come the Irish. Fast break and a bad pass. No, well, the pass was good, the, just the reception right. was not good. Yeah, the young man there running the floor there for Catholic. Blades. Took, yeah, Blades, he took his eye off the ball. The pass was beautiful. You and could call he, him a Blades runner. Well, but if Blades would have caught it, he would have been able to blade it right into the basket for an easy layup. Beasley has it. He's working the point right now. Sarton, high post. Neely, they bottled him up. This defense has been really, really good for Catholic. Yeah, Catholic's been good on both ends of the floor here this afternoon. Beasley gets it out. Stover now. Well, they're passing very nicely, but can't get anybody open. Well, yeah, and they're down 13. It's eating clock. I mean, I know we got, we're not quite two minutes into the fourth quarter, but every possession's big for Princeton when you're down double digits. Cinco with it. Gio Cinco, 5'10 senior, who has done a nice job in leading the offense for the Charleston Catholic Irish. Undefeated in six games from deep in the corner. Shot is too strong. Rebound followed up and count it. That's Aleph again. He's come off the bench to score six points. Yeah. And it's a 15-point game, Harris. That was a great uh, offensive rebound and putback. Long shot. That's a little short by Neely, and it'll go out again to Catholic. Yeah, 17's the biggest lead, 15 the lead now as we watch this uh, last bucket by Catholic. They're on the weak side rebound. He goes right in between two defenders and gets the put back. Boy, Adolf looking good there. Well, Catholic's a well-rounded team. Even though Turner's their main guy, they just don't rely on him. They've got so many other players, and they can beat you so many ways, but they're very good on both ends of the floor. Here's Turner. He's their big man, and he's going to – Work the point for the moment. Cinco is just to the bottom part of your screen. And now passing to Aleph. Spread the floor again just to lull the Tigers to sleep. Of course, Bill, coming at the end of the game, you and I will select our Pepsi player of the game. Nothing tastes good as an ice cold Pepsi. Love me some blue cans. Love me a silver can of Diet Pepsi or Pepsi Zero in a black can. There's a three-point shot by Aleph. He has done a great job off the hardwood, and this is the longest lead of 18 points for Catholic. Yeah, it looked like Princeton was getting a little closer, and uh, then Catholic able to just pull away. There's going to be a blocking foul on Catholic. Yeah, Stover had a chance. Let's take a look at that three-point make again yeah. on the other end. Splashdown, just the way you do it, right, Bill? Yeah, I'll tell you what, at least in my mind. <laughs> no, you could, you could splash it down like that. Maybe uh, 60 years ago, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So you tell me that you play with peach baskets? I did. There's a foul on the drive there. You know what we used to have to do? After every basket, you had to jump it up in the right. center circle. That's right. how that's how the game started. Well, yeah. Well, I was there to broadcast. Well, we've come a long way since then, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, amen. James Naismith <laughs> did that in a gymnasium, a YMCA gymnasium in Massachusetts, and just Bill, so you'll know. Here we are referring to James Naismith, which we can. He invented the game. Yeah. But I even had a, re a reference to uh, Bill Russell and Bob Cousy. Now, that's going way back. That's looking. The Irish, the green. The Irish inbounding. Here comes a snowbird layup, and it's good. Yeah, off the turnover, biggest lead of the game here at 20. Wilcox with 12 points, 50-30. This is looking good for Charleston Catholic. And, you know, Bill, it's going to be hard to pick the Pepsi player of the game because there's so many deserving players because just about everybody who's played for Catholic has played really well. Kaiser goes in for an off ballot shot, partially deflected perhaps, and It'll be the Charleston team coming down on the fast break and a bad pass. Well, well actually just I mean, couldn't catch it. I think uh, it was a good pass, yeah. and, and Aleph just couldn't handle it. I think the passes are good. I think the players are you know, like, hey, if I catch it, I'm going to get a layup, and they're looking at the basket, and they take their eye off the ball, and it goes as a turnover. But the last two times on plays like that where Calix turned it over, the passes have been there. It's just been the player receiving the ball, take their eye off of it, and it goes as a turnover. Her, uh, Princeton was down by 14 at halftime. Now they're down by 20 and have the ball, and layup is good. Nice strong move by Reed Thomas. He's got five. But now they got four minutes left to get something done, and Catholic's going to spread the floor again just to open things up for an easy layup, they hope. And again, Cinco moves in, backs out. They're just going to use a little bit of clock. He's a very good ball handler. Well, Gio they, Cinco, and yeah. now Reynolds. Excuse me. Well, they want, they want to just spread them out so they'll have spacing for somebody to get a, a good look or, you know, attack the basket. And right there it is. 
Reverse layup, missed. Boy, Aleph has done everything right except for that. Right. Even though they missed the shot, they got what they wanted by spreading them out and able to get a nice take to the basket. And we'll set it up again. Off balance turnaround shot. No good by Neely. Yeah, that's a tough shot fall away. And now Princeton might be waving the white flag here down 18 as they're gonna they're gonna dip into their bench and bring in four new players. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to look deep <laughs> on your score sheet for the new players coming into the ball game. Well we know number 12 is Rhodes. And let's take a look. 14 is JC Gum. Number two is Gavin Brown. We'll catch the others as we get the chance. Here's Turner. Reynolds. But I remember Reynolds and Turner from a year ago, and uh, they seem like they've been on the uh, five-year plan as Turner gets into the lane. <laughs> and a short shot, no good. That's one of the few things that has not worked for him. <laughs> well, you know, Bill, don't they get a COVID year? Don't they get a red shirt year? You can play like six years, right, as there's a foul that time on Reynolds. I remember my 11th grade. That was the best five years of my life. <laughs> Actually, it's not a foul. It's a turnover. Beg Here we pardon. go. 243 remaining in the ball game. Then there'll be a warm-up, and I think uh, 4 o'clock is the next game. That is correct. James and Rowe, Wyoming East. Eric Thomas will join me for all the action. And uh, looks like we'll have a little bit of break in between this game and that game. Aleph makes his move. Triple teamed. Nice passing. From inside the foul line, count it. That's Wilcox scoring his 13th and 14th points. So a 20-point lead as we approach two minutes to play in the ball game. Princeton Tigers getting everybody in who put on the jersey. They are 3-1 and one on the year and about to come to 3-2. and two. That one missed everything, and here's Cinco with it. Under two to go. Gio Cinco. So Catholic is going to go to the championship game tomorrow in the Pepsi division, and they'll get the winner of the next game, while Princeton will obviously get the loser. The consolation game is at 2, the championship game at 4. We'll have all of the games tomorrow on video productions as well as all of those here today. And, Bill, of course, you and Brian will have the 2 o'clock game. Eric and I will have the 4 o'clock game tomorrow. From downtown, count it. Wow, another long ball for Wilcox. He leads all scoring now with 17 points. Yeah, biggest lead of the game right here. And, Bill, looked like that, uh, you know, Princeton down 11 coming into the quarter was going to kind of make a run at it. But then just Charleston Catholic just has turned around and uh, they've, run, they, they've been able to run away and hide from Princeton here in this fourth quarter. That's Nate Blankenship as he tries to go for a layup and there's a whistle stopping the action. Foul. And let's look at the replay courtesy of Chick-fil-A. Once again, great passing to find the open shooter in the corner. Another splash down, and now Catholic will empty their bench. But this is a very impressive win for Catholic here this afternoon, and they'll remain undefeated. And I, like right now, everybody in Class AA, <laughs> boy, if you play Catholic, you better get ready because uh, you've, got, you've got a battle on your hands if you take on Charleston Catholic. Oh, you're right about that. Very impressive team. Blankenship is fouled as he goes. He'll go to the line and get two shots. Nate Blankenship for the Princeton Tigers. And, you know, Bill, one thing, too, and you can look and see, we'll get the official stats, but it just doesn't seem we, we because of the new rules, we don't have as many foul shots being taken overall. And also, I think, they, as the first free throws miss, that the officials, I think, do a good job of, of not calling everything and letting players kind of play through the contact. I think all these officials have done a great job throughout the first part of, you know, this 2023-2024 20, season. 22-point game. And the Irish, with less than a minute to go, will take their time. Yep, you can put this one in the books. It's a W for their uh, Charleston Catholic. They were very imp impressive here this afternoon. Patrick Arbaugh is into the ball game for the Irish. Working with it now is Ransom. He started the game, actually, but has not really played a whole lot. Ransom. And he'll work it into the low post. Short shot. That was an air ball that time. So we got 28 seconds to go, and the Tigers get it. Well, Bill, I guess we're going to have to be thinking who's going to get the Pepsi player of the game, and I guess we'll have a little bit of time uh, during our uh, first commercial break in our post-game show. Well, we'll talk it over. Well, whatever you say goes, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think so. Turnaround shot, and that's Neely scoring. Nice play for Neely. Well, like I said earlier, Bill, all five – 
not just the starters, there's probably seven guys really that you could take off Charleston's Catholic team and say they were the Pepsi player at the game here today. And that'll do it. 55 to 35 is the final score as Charleston Catholic now expands their record to 7 and 0. Oh, Princeton drops to 3 and 2. So, stay with us. We will come inside the numbers brought to you by Pepsi and we'll also have the Pepsi player of the game coming up in a moment. Princeton wins or rather Princeton loses by 20 to a very good Charleston Catholic team. This is the basketball coverage from the battle for the armory brought to you by Little General Stores on Video Productions. Hi, I'm Leanna Burnett, owner of Window World of Beckley. At Window World, we are proud to deliver exterior solutions that are beautiful, affordable, and guaranteed for life. We do things the right way. Honest pricing, no gimmicks, and thousands of satisfied customers. Call Window World of Beckley today at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW and have your new window siding and doors before winter. Window World of Beckley, family owned. Nationally known. Football season is starting and the all-star lineup of new Kias are here at Friendship Kia of Beckley. We have the playbook to help you score the big win on your new Kia purchase. We make sure you get the best price with almost all of our new cars priced at invoice. And don't forget, we have one of the largest selections of inventory to help find you that perfect ride. We have a roster full of non-commissioned sales staff and an Any Reason 7 Day Exchange program. So get off the bench and get a new Kia from your friends at Friendship Kia of Beckley. We're dealing! You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. Hey, grab me one, too. Okay, we're back now courtside today, Barksdale Court under the dome at the Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center. The Little General Stores battle for the armory. Yours truly, Bill O'Brien. Maris Lowry is here to recap the game. We're going to recap the game and then we'll go inside the numbers and they'll be bringing the numbers to Bill here in just a minute. But Princeton, their only lead of the game, Bill, they scored the first two points and went up two to nothing. And after that, it was lights out. Charleston Catholic then went on a 11 to two run. They took a 14 to six lead at the end of the quarter. They got up by uh, 29 to 15 at the break. They led by 11, 41 to 30 at the end of three. They opened up a huge lead in the fourth quarter and they win the ball game going away 55 to 35. Catholic will remain undefeated. And uh, Princeton, what was their record? Princeton is now three and two. Princeton's three and two. So we're gonna go inside the numbers. And inside the numbers brought to you by Pepsi of Southern West Virginia. Nothing tastes as good as a Pepsi, a nice cold Pepsi, whether you have the heavyweight division, which is the blue cans, Bill, whether you like the light heavyweight division, which is Diet Pepsi in the silver can, or whether you like the Pepsi Zero in the black can, it's always Pepsi. So here's Bill with Inside the Numbers. Okay, these are official numbers. First, let's go for the winners from Charleston Catholic. Total points, only two and double figures. Max Wilcox had 17 points today, including 8 of 10 shooting from the floor. 17 for Wilcox, leading all scoring. Jay Allen Turner had 15 points and an all-around nice game. So those were the two point makers for the Irish from the Kanawha County team. Now nine points for Wilkes Aliff came off the bench, scored nine. The point guard, Gio Cinco, had five points, three points for Zayden Ransom, and six points for Jeff Reynolds. Overall shooting, well, look at this, 50% from the floor, 22 out of 44 shooting from the floor for Charleston Catholic and three points. They hit six of ten. Now, let's take a look well, at the Princeton Tigers. Just, what you got there? Bill, the score is incorrect. It's the other way around. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. You got to change the score on the screen there. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Hey, this is our first of eight games, so sorry about that. Now let's go for the point totals for the Princeton Tigers. Nobody in double figures for Princeton. Gavin Stover was held to seven points. Markel Lowe wound up with seven. Kane Sarton had seven. Zayden Neely had seven points. Four points for Britt Beasley. One point for Nate Blankenship. And two points for Brad Musser. So uh, Princeton shooting 13 of 36 from the floor. That's 36%. Rebounding was about even. But Charleston Catholic with great defense. And Princeton just couldn't score. They scored only six points, the Tigers did in the first quarter. Only nine points in the second. 15 in the third. Only five points in the last quarter. Yeah, you know... It was a tough uh, uphill battle for Princeton, but definitely in that fourth quarter, it was really difficult. And as you mentioned, only five points. Final score, Catholic wins at 55-35. We'll take a break and come back, and we'll give our Pepsi player the game, and we'll do that when we return here on Video Productions. Here we grow again. Pioneer Community Bank is proud to offer a network of banks right here in our communities. By offering you more locations, Pioneer continues to meet all your banking needs where you are. Please stop by our new Harper Road location. We are truly investing in Southern West Virginia. Pioneer Community Bank. Friendly service, great products. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. Mid-State Ford, where every deal is a big John deal. Northside Drive, Route 19 in Somersville. Come see why people from all over the great state of West Virginia are making the drive to Somersville. Incredible deals on brand new Fords. The state's guaranteed lowest price on brand new F-150s, Super Duties, and more. Plus, incredible service after the sale at Mid-State Ford. Northside Drive, right off of Route 19 in Somersville. Online anytime at MidStateFordWV.com. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Hey, my name is Justice, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nugget trays is that they're all unique. Every nugget you look at is its own different special little nugget. They're great for any occasion, but especially holidays. When you don't have enough time, when you need something quick, that flavor is always popping. Back courtside in Beckley. We've already had game one of four games today as part of the battle for the armory, courtesy of Little General Stores. All right, Charleston Catholic wins by 20 points, and it's time for the Pepsi player of the game. Here's my partner, Maris Lowry. Well, Bill, after heavy debate and after you told me who's going to be the player of the game, <laughs> no kidding, ladies and gentlemen, we did this collectively. And as I said through the course of the broadcast, right, Bill, all kidding aside, it would be really hard to pick just one player because Catholic, all their players really played well here this afternoon. But you and I thought that the most deserving was Max Wilcox. And he had 17 points, and he played a great game. He uh, was good on both ends of the floor. So Mac Wilcox is our Pepsi player of the game in this 20-point Catholic win, 55-35. Okay, we've got three more games to go, including the next one at 4 o'clock. We'll be on the air at 345 as James Monroe will take on Wyoming East. And then later on, I'll be back at 6 o'clock for the East Fairmont Shady Spring game. And then Maris comes back at 8 o'clock for the Oak Hill Beckley game. So plenty of action. If you're within the sound of our voices and within a few miles of the building, come on down. You're going to love basketball here, courtesy of Little General Stores. Our thanks to Nick Eskins, the heavy hitter. He's our producer-director. Our executive producer is Butch Mounts. He is here at the game site. And now for Maris Lowry, Bill O'Brien, again repeating the final, Charleston Catholic 55, Princeton 35. Until 345, good afternoon, everybody.